uh, where GH Dash really excels um, is providing this beautiful, performant, customizable interface in your terminal. This is really handy, and you'll notice as I'm navigating here, if you're a Vim user or enjoy coding in the terminal, that uh, this is a lot faster uh, and just smoother of an experience right now than going through the GitHub UI. So as you can see over here, there's this handy little preview pane. And um, let's remind myself what the uh, different commands are. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So, um, so you can toggle the preview page open and closed, and then you can also uh, go down like this, and then you can page up within it like this. So control D, control U. Um, the reason that I find this so nice to use is uh, whatever view I'm interested in, I jump to it really quickly, and then here I can get a sense of, you know, in the, in the, the left rail, if you will, or this uh, table view, I've got, uh, it's already sorted by the, the free, uh, when it was opened, so, or how recent the pull request is. So you'll see there was one 44 minutes ago, and then there's, uh, down there, we can get into some that have been open for years. Um, so that's kind of nice, but then also just the ability to quickly see, okay, what's the status of this PR? It's open. Um, you can see over here, there's these nice little badges. It's mergeable, so there are no conflicts that need to be resolved. Uh, there's an issue with the check, so we can dig into that a little bit more. And then if we just quickly scan, you see a description. Okay, so add telemetry to main cloud new flows. Um, we've got the to-dos that are all checked in, or checked. We've got uh, migration guide. Um, explanations, and then you can even see the checks. So the check that's passing is the Git Guardian security check, so we don't have any secrets or tokens or anything that was, was leaked in this PR. Um, and then there's some test failures, and then there's a, a code maintainer needs to give an approval. Um, and so what I'm gonna show you now is starting to get into some of the, the customization that I've uh, done, because I, as a developer, uh, a user of Tmux and NeoVim uh, pretty heavily day to day. And so this is how I, I um, currently am checking out my, my pull, re pull, pull request that I'm going to review when I'm using GH Dash. So uh, if I wanted to take a look at this one, I've got a Shift uh, C command, and I can show you in a second what that does. But this then uses another project. Um, this is Octo.envim. So this is a plugin for doing um, GitHub pull reviews, uh, pull request reviews inside of native NeoVim. Uh, and it's quite handy. You can, there's one of the reasons I like this is that you can quickly say, um, Octo PR changes. You can see all the files that were changed. And because it's NeoVim, there's this nice integration with, um, telescope out of the box. Um, you can also do Octo, uh, PR commits. That'll show you commits to, if that's the view that you prefer. First, I can get a sense of just the overall description, you can see it here, the PR is about migrating to AWS SDK Go V2 for Kinesis data streams. And then over here, I actually start a full-fledged review. And what's really nice about this is that I get the full diff, um, just as you would in GitHub, but it's a little bit easier to kind of navigate because I've got my hotkeys here. I'm still in NeoVim and can get a sense of the actual changes without having to jump back and forth from the GitHub UI. Um, there's a really nice, simple interface here for jumping between the files changed, which is great. So in general, I just find this a little bit nicer of an experience as a developer. If I hop back to here, uh, the cool thing too is that hitting C on this allows me to start even a comment. Um, and then I can back it out or I could leave it here. Um, this octo.envim also has a full fledged uh, functionality and support for adding comments, editing them, submitting them, or deleting them. Um, so uh, that's also quite handy. But really, between these two tools, so GH Dash here, and then octo.envim, uh, you can just about wire up any type of issues or PR workflow that you want, then quickly scan things here, and then either take action from 
GH dash or uh, pop open the other buffer and then uh, do a full code review in there and submit it and move on um, all without having to touch the GitHub UI. So that's quite nice. Let's also take a look at the config for this. What's awesome about GH dash is that um, has this you can optionally configure it uh, with a YAML file. And so these PR sections, you can see I've defined my pull requests and just use the standard default filter. Is it um, one of the pull requests that I've authored that's still open? Uh, I believe this will hide the author information on the, the left rail to keep things a little bit more compact. And you can see that there's some comments here where uh, th this is lifted from the readme of the project, but you could um, de determine or specify how wide you want the preview column to get. Um, so it might be easier to read um, or, you know, uh, maybe you don't want it to take up so much space. You want to be able to scan PRs more easily. You can customize all that. You can limit how many PRs are uh, fetched. And so that'll help with the rate limits in GitHub, which can be painful to work with. And then there's issue sections. You can do the exact same thing with issues. So if your workflow happens to deal with GitHub issues and even maybe you're not a developer or maybe you are, but um, you still want to uh, have a, a native, you know, terminal-based uh, workflow. You can still achieve that with GH Dash, which is really nice. Um, these are some other parameters that allow you to configure more of the layout. And then repo paths is what will actually map uh, the repository in GitHub to. So if it starts with grunt work, you know, hyphen IO star meaning anything so this is the grunt work org and then the star would be any repo name then map that on my machine to my home directory where i have a grunt work folder that has all the the grunt work repositories checked out and then you can also uh, define custom key bindings and, and this is what really uh, takes gh dash to the next level if you will or allows you to customize it and and build up uh, a, a pretty rich ide flow however you want to do it because these commands are arbitrary so uh, in this case, I'm using one that was uh, lifted pretty much from the project uh, README. And all I needed to do, um, just took a bunch of trial and error, was to get the right octo command in there so that um, my, because I, again, like to use tmux for everything. So when I hit uh, capital C, so shift C to say check out on any PR when I'm currently on the row in the TUI over here, then that's, this is the code that runs. We uh, call tmux, we split the window to the right, um, and we open the actual repo path so that this next command, which is ghpr checkout, will work, and so that the actual PR is checked out locally, which means that I've got the exact same code there locally that I can go play around with, run it. Um, if somebody added a, a bash script or a command, I could you know, grab that out of one buffer and run it in a different one if I wanted to, or in a, a temporary directory, or whatever I needed to do with it. So it's just a lot more interactive and hands-on and easier to quickly get to the answer or some resolution that you might need to answer questions for yourself if you're um, trying to review code and make sure that something looks is actually okay. Um, you can pretty much wire up this wire this up to do whatever you want. So um, again, it's quite powerful, and I feel like I'm only beginning to scratch the surface here. I think you could go uh, really crazy with this, and then. Of course, also, once you're into the actual Octo um, program, like when you let's say, you know, check something else out, and uh, once you're in Octo, then you have a tremendous amount of different commands. There's all types. Um, so that this project is also um, pretty impressive uh, and very cool. So that is the uh, very rough and quick introduction to how I'm, I'm currently experimenting with doing uh, PR reviews in the terminal for expediency and for um, the ability to have these customized filters. And so, you know, the other thing that might be cool here is like, you can imagine if there's a type of PR that you always need to review every day and, you know, um, it tends to be a lot. Maybe you start with an hour of that in the morning. These are the team PRs that uh, your team might need. Maybe these are your other, you know, contractor PRs or some other some other team, some other project, but it's really quite flexible. You can use it however you want. And then the other thing that's really awesome is and should not be 
overlooked is uh, GH Dash just provides a full search interface that you can use for uh, GitHub. So there's these different headers, and then here is the search. So you can just do arbitrary searching. Say archive false, author me, actual name. Um, even say is merged. How about that? And then in the bottom left, you see it's searching. And here we go. And they're all grayed out because they're merged. Um, so I think this is pretty powerful. Uh, you know, even if you're an engineering manager and uh, you prefer to just work here in the terminal, uh, this may be a, a far better experience than trying to wrestle with the GitHub UI. Um, all right. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.